Welcome back to Bay Sunday. Outdoor theater is a 104 year old tradition high on Mount Tam in Marin County. And this season, the company Mountain Play is presenting Beauty and the Beast and the Magic Mountain Play Music Festival. With me to tell us more about it is the company's executive director, Sarah Pearson, and actor Jeff Wieson. Welcome to Bay Sunday. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Tell us a little bit more about the, the history of this theater up there. Well, it's been going on for 104 years. So starting down in 1913, we've been bringing people up to the top of the mountain to see real, live, high quality theater. So for me and Jeff, it's been 10, 15 years. Right. A beautiful setting up there. Gorgeous. It is. It's really remarkable. It's a 3,700 3, seat theater. The seats themselves are giant boulders that were built in the 1930s by the Civilian Conservation Corps of Engineers. So it was a WPA project. And the experience is just remarkable. Um, you know, you're up there in the elements, the backdrop of the theater, you can see the bay down below. And it's just a wonderful opportunity to bring your family up and see some amazing large scale musical theater. And what are we looking at right here? Look at the crowds over there. That was a pretty yeah. long time ago. I'm not quite sure of the exact date, but it looks like before the actual uh, rocks were placed in the theater, that happened in the 30s. So for the first, you know, 20 years or so, there it was a hillside That's and true. you would slide down the hill. That's yep. why they look so <laughs> packed. <laughs> yeah, it really is one of those unique theaters uh, here in the Bay Area and perhaps across the country. Tell us a little bit about the, the play that uh, that's happening this summer there. We are doing this summer the Disney Beauty and the Beast, mm -hmm. which is, of course, based on the original animated movie that many of kids, my children's generation watched hundreds of times. But it was actually turned into a Broadway show and 10 more songs were added to the Broadway show than the animated show has. Just to bring it sort of br more broad and have it appeal to adults as well as children. And they deepen the show so much. They, the characters are so much more um, believable and so much more uh, empathetic. Including the character Gaston, <laughs> who <laughs> Jeff plays. And by the way, French class, my first day of French class in seventh grade, this is a true story, French teacher looks at me and says, okay, we need to give you a French name. It's going to be Gaston. <laughs> so my name was Gaston, Gaston in French class. Yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah, I mean, I would say, Sarah said, many of the characters are empathetic. I would say Gaston's one of the less empathetic mm -hmm. characters in this yeah. story, but it is certainly fun to get to play the bravado and, and be the villain. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and, and the kids, uh, you know, for the most part, I get a lot of boos, and, and that's always fun. And um, but yeah, I mean, the kids, uh, like Sarah was saying, uh, it's such an iconic story. It's such a um, a favorite uh, a movie, a favorite play, and the, the, they just had the live action movie that came out. Um, and we just get kids coming up and dressing up in costume. They're coming up and talking to us afterwards, taking pictures. Um, they're reacting to it so wonderfully. One little girl after the show last weekend came up to me and said. Do we get to see it again? Oh. <laughs> Is there a re, re can you rerun yeah. it? And we said, well, we'll do it next weekend. Her mom said, do you want to come back? She said, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. so the reactions right. have been really, really wonderful. And it's perfect timing. I mean, also the movie, and that yes. must generate a little bit more interest this summer. Well, we just took the advantage of the fact that everywhere you turned, it was Beauty and the Beast everywhere. So we just sort of piggybacked on that wonderful marketing. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. a review just came out I wanted to mention the other day that said Jeff was a villainous Gaston who the audience loved and hated at the same time. That's why he got all those boos. <laughs> That's yeah. right. The chorus of boos. What about uh, the production Hair? Well, we're branching out this year. The Mountain Play usually does a five-week um, production season with six performances, and there's a double show weekend in the middle with a Saturday and a Sunday show. Well, we took our Saturday show away. There was a reason, because it fell exactly on the 50th anniversary of the Magic Mountain music festival and fantasy fair that happened on June 10th, 1967 wow. in our amphitheater. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we're tipping our hat to that and we're creating our own mini music festival with live bands and of course a production of Hair to cap it all off. Right. And tell us a little bit more about the, the musical uh, event and festival that you guys are going to have, Jefferson Starship. Yeah, we are well. very lucky. Jeff, we're we're going to have three bands playing in the morning preceding our production of Hair, and the last of the bands before we do Hair is going to be Jefferson Starship, which is really incredible because um, 50 years ago at the Magic Mountain Music Festival and Fantasy 20. Fair, so, excuse me, no, 50. <laughs> 50, 50, 50. 50 years ago, um, all right. Jefferson Airplane played. Okay. It was the Doors, the Birds, Jefferson Airplane, all up on Mount Tamalpai is playing. Um, what most people don't know is actually one of the first outdoor rock festivals in the country. Um, it preceded the Monterey Pop Festival by a week or two, 
and um, obviously Woodstock by about nine months. So this was the first, and we have, you know, they're everywhere now. You have Coachella and you have, you know, outside lands here in San Francisco. They're, yeah. Everywhere you turn, there's an outdoor rock music festival. This was one of the first. Um, so it's going to be a really exciting day of rock music. Uh, and then we're going to be doing a pretty much full-scale production of Hair. It's Hair in Concert, mm -hmm. so we will have handheld microphones. Um, but some of the most, you know, iconic music from that era, um, you know, Aquarius and Let the Sun Shine In and Hair and just these wonderful songs. We have an incredibly talented cast of performers and it's going to be just a, a remarkable day up there. Yeah, and I think the great part of, uh, about it is that it's such a unique venue to, to listen to that music. And Absolutely, and the thing that's wonderful about Jeff is that Jeff played Burger in our 2007 production of Hair Up on the Mountain and actually something kind of wonderful happened. This is the production where I met my wife. Oh. In 2007, 10 years ago, almost to the day, we met doing the production of Hair on Mount mm -hmm. Tamalpais. Um, about five years later, we got engaged at the Mountain Theater on Mount Very Tamalpais, good. and here we are 10 years later. Um, my wife's in the cast, <laughs> and we now have an eight-month-old baby. <laughs> so it's who was, all who was, who was born in the theater? Who was <laughs> born in the theater? Yes, yeah, so we can stretch that part. Thank you so much for joining us uh, here this uh, this morning. Remember, Beauty and the Beast is playing every Sunday through June 18th, and the Mountain Play Music Fest with uh, festival with Jefferson Starship and Heron Concert is on June 10th. For more information, you can go to their website, mountainplay.org. That is it for this week. Be sure to visit our website, cbssf.com/slash/base Sunday, and we'll see you next week. Have a great day.